My name is Thomas Oxenen. My name is Thomas Oxenen. I work as an intensive care doctor here at the Yorvi Hospital, which is part of the Helsinki University Hospital. There are plenty of potential advantages of non-invasive ventilation. Compared to invasive ventilation, NIV can reduce the number of infections, especially ventilator-associated pneumonia, when a mask is used instead of a tube. And ventilator-induced pneumonia is associated with significant mortality and costs. Furthermore, sedation is needed during invasive ventilation, but it may not be necessary with an NIV mask. When the patient is not sedated, muscular strength is better preserved, and the duration of intensive care treatment and stay is often reduced as well. For COPD patients, even mortality is decreased with non-invasive ventilation compared to the use of invasive ventilation treatment. My name is Marit Tuskinen. I'm a teaching nurse at the intensive care unit of Yorvi Hospital. I've worked as an intensive care nurse for 20 years now. During non-invasive ventilation, it is important to explain to the patient what you are doing. The ventilation mask needs to be placed carefully on the patient's face, making sure that the mask does not press on the face to avoid pressure ulcers. The biggest benefit of NIV ventilation is, from my perspective, that the patient's family can communicate with the patient during some breaks from ventilation. When we start the non-invasive ventilation therapy, it's very important that the ventilator works in synchrony with the patient's work of breathing. Otherwise, there is the risk that the patient doesn't tolerate the therapy. We noticed that the patient ventilator synchrony and the leakage compensation are often better with a dedicated NIV ventilator. Furthermore, NIV ventilators are easier to use as they are more compact and handy than invasive ventilators. I work daily with Drega products, and for non-invasive ventilation, we use the Drega Carina. We use Carina frequently as a therapy solution when patients get mobilized, because the device is compact, it is easy to move around, and it is easy to transfer patients to another department. We had a case a few weeks ago that a patient was ventilated over a long period of time. We started early mobilization with Carina, and we lifted the patient several times a day. The patient was happy and thankful that he was able to get up and it was easy for him to wear the mask and the Carina at the same time. For invasive ventilation, we use Draeger Evita XL and Evita V500 in our hospital. The Draeger Oxilog is used for intra-hospital transports. And to get good synchrony, you need, of course, a good ventilator. But I think it's very important that the mask fits properly because leakages between the mask and the patient often lead to asynchrony even when the ventilator could compensate the leakage. But the synchrony efforts are often lost when the mask doesn't fit properly. My thought about Draeger's new mask was that it sat well on the patient's face. It was easy to apply and the headband improved the fit. It was good that you can loosen the mask while it's on the patient's face. And the patient said that he felt comfortable with the mask. Non-invasive ventilation can save costs and can reduce the length of ICU stay. It has potential to improve patient satisfaction in the hospital. There is a sense of achievement when a patient improves after a treatment, even when he was ventilated. It is great to see when you've been able to help a patient.